हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल बैक इन द ईवीएस ऑनलाइन क्लास आई होप योर स्टडीज आर गोइंग वेल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई सजेस्ट यू ऑल टू यूटिलाइज दिस पीरियड इन योर स्टडीज एज मच एज यू कैन एंड ट्राई टू इंप्रूव योर सेल्फ अ लिटिल प्रोग्रेस ईच डे adds up to a big result with these lines i would like to start our today's chapter and the chapter we are going to discuss today is chapter 13 our earth my dear students do you know what is earth the earth is our home The earth is the blue planet of the solar system that supports life. Students, do you know why earth supports life? Earth supports life because it has the right temperature needed by all living things to live. Students, do you know Why the earth is also known as the blue planet? Don't worry, I will tell you. The earth is also known as the blue planet because it has more water than land. It comprises of 70% of water and 30% of land. My dear students, you can also say that about 3/4 of the earth is covered by water and 1/4 of it is covered by land students earth is surrounded by a layer of air called the atmosphere earth is one of the eight planets that orbit or travel around the sun in the solar system students as you can see in the picture it is the third planet from the sun my dear students do you know what is the globe students as you all know that the earth is very big we cannot see the entire earth at a time therefore we have to make a model to study it a sphere shaped model of the earth is called a globe a globe is very useful to study the different places on earth it is used to locate place sea route air route we can also locate continent countries oceans rivers and cities students it is not possible to show all the places on a small globe on the other hand a huge globe will be difficult to carry these problems can be solved if we use maps a map is a drawing of the earth or a part of it maps can be big or a small students now we will study about the shape of the earth for a very long time people thought that the earth was flat and had edges students do you know about 500 years ago ferdinand magellan and his crew started from spain on a long sea journey they kept sailing in one direction after nearly 3 years they reached the same place from where they had started this proved that earth is round like a ball in fact the earth is round like an orange slightly flat at the top and bottom 
my dear students now we will study about different landforms but first of all we must know what are landforms a landform is a natural or artificial feature of the solid surface of the earth my dear students different landforms are hill mountain valley plain desert island forest or plateau we will study about these landforms one by one so let's start hill a hill is a landform that is higher than the land surrounding it my dear students hills also look like cones mountain a mountain is a landform that rises above its surroundings it is taller than a hill a mountain usually has steep slopes and rounded or sharp peaks students as you can see in the picture there are sharp peaks or rounded peaks some mountains are also covered with the snow valley a valley is a low area of land it lies between two higher parts of land that might be hills or mountains plain a plain is a flat area of land plains occur as low lands at the base of valleys and mountains my dear students people also grow crops and fruits in plains desert A desert is large region that receives very little rain each year. It is covered with sand and rocks. My dear students, very few plants like cactus and animals like camel live in deserts. Island. An island is an area of land that is surrounded by water. islands are found in most water bodies forest a forest is an area of land where many trees grow many animals live in forest forests are very important and grow in many places around the world plateau a plateau is a flat elevated landform that rises sharply above the surrounding area on at least one side my dear students as you all know that water is one of the most important natural resources on earth and it can be found in various forms on earth A large part of the earth's surface is covered with water. The water on the earth is found in different types of water bodies like river, lake, sea, oceans. Now let's study about oceans. Oceans are the biggest bodies of water on earth and it cover at least 71% of the surface of the earth the entire marine salt water which you see on earth ultimately ends up in the world ocean students there are five oceans the pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean antarctic ocean and arctic ocean students antarctic ocean is also known as southern ocean my dear students the pacific ocean is the largest ocean in the world and the arctic ocean is the smallest sea 
Seas are large bodies of salt water that are connected to oceans and they are often partially surrounded by land. My dear students, there are many cool creatures living in the sea and these plants and animals are called marine life since they are in the sea. My dear students, do you know why is sea water salty? Ocean salt primarily comes from rocks on land. Rocks on land are the major source of salts dissolved in sea water. Rain water that falls on land is a slightly acidic. So it erodes rocks. This releases ions that are carried away to streams and rivers that eventually feed into the ocean. Lake A large body of water surrounded by land is known as a lake. It contains fresh water. Lakes are fairly still bodies of water as compared to a river in which the water flows. River A river is a flowing stream of water. Water in a river comes either from rain or from the melting snow of the mountains. The water in a river is fresh water. A river flows towards the sea and most of the rivers meet the sea. Students, now we will study how to keep our earth clean and green. My dear students, as residents of planet earth, it is also our duty to make sure that it stays clean and safe for the whole occupants of the planet. Students, considering the current condition of the earth, there is no denying that we are slowly killing our planet. So, it is only right that we work on improving the condition of the earth and stop whatever practices and actions that are harming it. My dear students, for us to make the earth safer and livable, we must turn away from our use of plastic and poisonous gases. We have no need for the plastics that we easily discard. Polluting the earth and killing it slowly, even if we may not realize it. Students, we can also lessen our traveling as we put out excess gases that harm the plants. Rather, we must plant more trees and make sure they live as plants are our only saviors from any harm. They help us to save the earth, provide more fresh oxygen for living beings. Students, we can also revert to natural products for our daily use, clothes and even bags and utensils. We can help most by refusing plastic and more into natural products. My dear students, clean and green earth can only be achieved if we all participate and do our own parts in making sure we don't further pollute the earth and we must all take it on us to do our job of making it a livable clean and green earth. My dear students, it's time to take a pledge. It's time for us to make our earth clean and green. For that to happen, we have to work together to take care of our planet earth. My dear students, at some point, someone has to initiate. So why can't we? Students, I don't mean you should make a one-time pledge, but rather a pledge to do an act of green 
that you can continue to do each and every day throughout the year students remember we only got one planet so let's keep it clean and beautiful for generations to come my dear students it's time for an activity students take a chart paper and make different landforms and water bodies on it the materials that you can use to make them are paint sand paper straw grass and strips of a cloth my dear students i hope you have understood this chapter students stay at home stay safe thank you